Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, November 23rd, 2014. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and today I want to share with you a little tip that I learned while surfing online trying to figure out how to get rid of this thumbnail history in Chromium and or Google Chrome in Linux or Windows. Not only can it lead to some seemingly very uncomfortable situations, but I also consider this to be a gross violation of my privacy. There is no facility built into the Chromium and Chrome browsers to eliminate the collection of this historical data. So I began on Google with a search for Chrome Disable History Thumbnails that brought up this page top result was how to remove history thumbnails from Chrome homepage. Clicking on this link brings you to a thread on the Google Forms and in this one thread alone 177 posts by 72 authors. And there are dozens of threads very similar to this. Um, looking further down the the search history list I came across this link how to disable Google Chrome's most visited page from blog.timesunion.com which brings you to this little tutorial and the problem with most of the uh, solutions that are being provided by the extension authors for Google Chrome and Chromium is that they don't eliminate the thumbnail history they only hide it and if you disable the plugin voila it returns at the bottom of this one, however, is how to disable Chrome's most visited landing page until you want it back. Click on the link here, Chrome extension called New Tab Redirect. Now I already have it installed in my browser, and it may look different in your browser depending on whether or not you're running Windows or Linux. This is, this is how I presume it will look in Windows, and this is how it looks in Linux. Very simple. This is the redirect page that I send it to. I send it to about colon blank. You click save. You can send it to all of these other pre-formatted links if you'd like. You can send it directly to Google Plus or Twitter or slash dot, whatever you like, but I prefer a blank page. These permissions are additional advanced settings here's the contact information for the author and here's the location where you can send the author a cup of coffee please do so he deserves it in any event once you click save and enable it your option is now saved and when you click on a new tab it's empty look at that blank start page. What do you know? I can do a Google search right from the URL bar. This video is being created using Open Broadcaster software which is currently available for Windows 7, Windows 8 and I believe it's also working on Windows 10. It is uh, available for Mac OS X version 10.8 and above and the versions for Linux are currently in beta but it's very usable I'm using it right now I highly recommend you check this software out a lot of uh, a lot of gamers are using this to stream on Twitch I'm using it for live streaming as well as recording desktop sessions just like this one here's a picture or here's a here's a look at the open broadcaster user interface I can do all kinds of crazy things with my uh, with my content. I can do screen only. I can do cam only, switching between scenes, and of course, the final video copy is being rendered in my favorite nonlinear video editor, Caden Live for Linux. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this little tip. Uh, time to get back to work in the workshop. Everyone, take care. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe, and peace.